guys, welcome back with Turner Cold TV. We have some updates here for you with our 2017 SEMA uh, Rocket Bunny build for the Lexus RC. Uh, but first, we got our tires in. Um, they're pretty big and meaty. Uh, Toyo uh, hooked it up with some Proxy T1 Sports. We got some 235, 25, 20s uh, for the rear. I mean, it's, it's massive. And we got some 275, 30, 20s for the front. Uh, 11 inch wide in the front, 13 inch wide in the rear. So there's going to be a good amount of tire on these. Um, so I think we'll go ahead and mount these today. Get that process going. First uh, process, you got to lube the wheel up. Get it right where the bead sits. Want that tire to slip on, no hassles. Want to get bottom bead too. So the process with the tire, you want to lube the bead up because that's the most important spot. So these tires are actually an outside inside tire. It's not a directional. Um, so as you can see outside, uh, this. And then the yellow dot actually tells you where you need to place the valve stem uh, for the best balance. Force it on. Time to mount it. Give it a good wipe here. So the bead's gonna pop, it's gonna be loud. So this is uh, the next procedure, uh, balancing the wheel. Otherwise, uh, high speed, your car is going to be shaking. And we don't want that, so. Go ahead and rip the tire sticker off. Now <coughs> make it sure it's nice and snug. Alright. So what it's doing right now is it's actually putting pressure on the tire, um, forcing it to kind of expand outwards, which uh, seats this bead and it seats the outside bead as well to make sure the tire is fully popped on and it won't come off. It takes a little, little weight, which is good. Only an ounce and then a quarter of an ounce. When the barrels tend to be black, we only use black wheel weights, uh, also for darker wheels. Some people just use the silver, but we like to have it look nice, so. We gotta have the rotiform cap. Perfect. There you go. So that's one that's done. Let's move on to the next. So as far as the progress update on this car since you last seen it, um, all the blue tape and everything's off. I went ahead and finalized each placement of every rib nut. Um, before we just mocked it up just to get the general idea, but now each one is threaded so screws can go into it. The other side, we already started cutting and the process of um, massaging the inner fender liner back up to the cut, so that way we can go ahead and weld it and seal it all up. It looks, looks a little ugly right now, but it's still in the process. Um, so we have the main cut, we still need to massage this inner fender liner to the cut, and then we're gonna go ahead and pretty much weld this. And once it's welded, we'll come back and cut this extra metal off. So it'll be nice, clean. It's a good, nice radius. It gives us all the clearance that we need uh, for the bigger wheels, so there will be no problem. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much going to be need to be more massage, but it's in the process. Make sure you like and subscribe to these videos. Uh, we are nearing an end here um, with building the car here at Bowden. There's going to be two more videos. Last video. Uh, after this one is going to be it hitting the ground after the final fender work and everything panels all on right before it goes to paint um, and then from there you guys will see it at SEMA um, so we're excited uh, the partnership with Tuner Colt, Bowden and this build um, so if you guys like it let us know